Dear Southern Cameroonians, dear Ambazonians, once more we have the pleasure to speak to you this day and we have the particular pleasure to announce that all the structures that have represented us since time immemorial have decided to come together and we have come together over the weekend and have formed a common platform, a solid one, henceforth known as CACUF, the Southern Cameroon's Ambazonia Consortium United Front. This is the platform that will henceforth represent us and we shall speak like one man to the international community and we are sure that together, as we have come together, we will score the goals earlier than we expected. On the SCACUF platform, we have the SCNC, we have SCAPO, we have the Republic of Ambazonia, we have the Consortium, we have the AGC, and many others are coming on board. Uh, we have retained a reputable international firm, the Foley Hoak Law Firm in Washington, D.C., to represent our movement so that in the days ahead we shall be filing lawsuits in international and local courts against the government of La Republic du Cameroon and against individuals of that government, ministers, governors, SDOs, and people bearing with such ranks against crimes that they have committed against our people and against the nation of Southern Cameroon. Dear people, today we want to talk to our mothers. We are talking to our wives. We are talking to our sisters and to our daughters. We all know with what fervency with what joy we have celebrated the 8th of March, the International Women's Day in Cameroon. This year, we come to our women folk to appeal to you and to inform you that there is no use, absolutely no use to celebrate the Women's Day this year. We appeal to you on behalf of Kakuf that we should use the Women's Day 2017 to mourn for our children who have been killed, to wail for our husbands, to wail for our parents, to mourn for our brothers and our sons who were kidnapped, abducted, and are under detention under horrible conditions in the jails of La Republic du Cameroon. Therefore, we have declared in Skakouf that there will be no Women's Day celebration in Southern Cameroon's Ambazonia. Our women should stay home. In fact, the whole community should stay home. And in keeping with the earlier declaration of the consortium, the 8th of March has been declared a ghost town in southern Cameroon. We seize this opportunity to announce a series of demonstrations that are coming up in the, in the weeks, in the days and weeks ahead. First, we announce and we appeal to all southern Cameroonians and Bazonians in the diaspora, especially our brothers and sisters in America, in the U.S. and Canada. We appeal to you all to make sure that come Friday the 3rd, the March on the United Nations headquarters in New York, organized by Morisk, is made a memorable march that the United Nations will not forget. Therefore, we appeal on you to enter on all the buses, take all the flights, and let us meet in New York. Let us meet in New York and give the UN a message. We will all be there. And by the grace of God, I will be there. 
so that the United Nations will know and may know that we have cried for too long. Let us meet in New York, Friday the 3rd. We equally seize this opportunity to announce that Skakuf is planning another memorable march on the UNESCO headquarters in Paris, France in the weeks ahead. Therefore, we appeal to all our brothers and sisters in the UK and mainland Europe, in all the Schengen member countries, to begin to prepare, to begin to prepare for that march. As soon as we indicate the date, we are sure we will give you a considerable time to prepare so that we all meet in Paris, France and inform UNESCO that is, if they have not been well informed up to this moment of what is happening to our children, of what has happened to our children since we got introduced into this raw deal and what we are going through now. There are no classes, but our government intends to force our children to write examinations irrespective of the cries of the people that they have been destroyed, mistaught by Francophone teachers. We shall be giving that date in a few days' time. Dear people, as we already know, President Paul Bia, the head of the oppressive gang of our people, shall be visiting Italy from the 20th to the 22nd of March 2017. We want to use this opportunity to mobilize our brothers and sisters on mainland Europe to come together and let us give him a message. He is going to Italy and Rome where the head of the church lives. Let us come together and shame him, shame the dictator that he is and tell the world that we are tired of him and tell the world that he is the Pharaoh that is presiding over the bondage of our people. Let us come together more than ever before and shame the devil. Let us come together. Let us spend money, print t-shirts, write placards and come out in Italy and give Paul Bia a message. Let us come out like one man and shame him like he has never seen before. Before we go, we want to emphasize to you that the struggle has just started. The finish point may not be far away from here, but know that the struggle has just started. It has just started because we are entering, we are shifting into another gear, a very high gear. And at this level, we are going to make life unbearable for President Paul Bia and members of his government. They will soon find out that they will become personas non grata in every and any part of the world. Because we are going to inundate all the courts in the countries where he likes to go and relax with cases against him. Our people in this country will begin to rise up even as from this week and begin to pursue him and members of his government. They will not have peace until we go home. And we appeal to the women who have hitherto not been touched that you are no longer free of arrest because government has started arresting even our mothers, our sisters. The soft-spoken and level-headed, kind-hearted principal of GPHS Bayele, Madame Awuru Estela, was arrested and she is detained in Yaoundé. Even her husband is not allowed to see her. Therefore, we must use Women's Day to reject this government, to reject the wickedness from Yaoundé. The bigger part of this struggle is henceforth going to lie in the hands of our mothers, of our wives, of our daughters and sisters. You must rise up and mourn. Dear people, we now appeal to you, as you already know, that the struggle is of the Lord and that he is the one who will give us victory and he has said he will give us victory. We therefore appeal that beginning today 
and counting 40 days, Southern Cameroon's Ambazonia should humble itself before the Lord. Skakuf hereby declares a 40 days walk, spiritual walk, fasting and prayer. Let us humble ourselves and pray to our God for he says in 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 that if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, the Lord says, I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. 40 days and in 40 days time we shall see a huge turnaround except that we don't humble ourselves. But I know that we are a humble people, that we are a God-fearing people. We shall humble ourselves and the Lord, our God, Jehovah, King of glory, will give us victory. God bless you.